Imagine you had a great idea and shared it with the world. To make it a better place. To make it cleaner and quieter. To make people more comfortable. Businesses more successful. The world more connected. Would an idea that great ever fly? It will. And like nothing else. Boeing Forever New Frontiers. You talk too much. John Kerry and Amy Klobuchar, Mark Kennedy, Bob Corker, Harold Ford, Sam Nunn, John Warner, Carl Levin, Chuck Hagel, John Bolton, John Bolton, John Bolton, Howard Dean, Ken Melman, Condoleezza Rice, Condoleezza Rice. You cannot underestimate how uh, big a blow it is to North Korea to have all of the neighbors now, including uh, what has been its strongest supporter, China, fully united about, behind sanctions. The problem with Iraq is that it has diminished our hand and reduced our ability to be able to deal with Iran and North Korea. They are related. So that what we've been trying to do here is exercise multilateral diplomacy, which the president's critics frequently uh, uh, suggest. This administration has misled Americans and misled the world. And they don't have credibility. Chris, this is not political. This is the That's most a little, serious. It's no, a little it's not political. political. No, it's not political. It's, it's incredible to me that uh, our ambassador would make the representation that he did on your show. It's also a mistake, in my judgment, not to sit down bilaterally with the North Koreans. Uh, we do need to engage the North Koreans as we need to engage the Iranians and the, and the Syrians. That is why it is so important not to allow this to become a bilateral negotiation. Knowing what you know today, would you still vote? To we go acted, you know, you can't really play TiVo and rewind in the real world. But let me just say this. Uh, first of all, I stand by my vote. And second of all, we just got done talking about Korea. We just got done talking about consequences for actions. I believe that we do need to start bringing our troops home. Clearly at this time, this late date in mid-October, we can't bring a significant number of home. We have to be reasonable. I have never been one to say, bring them all home tomorrow. That you're open to both censure and impeachment. I don't think you should ever rule anything out, but I'm telling you my focus is not impeachment. It's not censure. Uh, my focus is to go to Congress and get something done. Are the national Republicans pulling out of your race? Uh, they, they are not. We're getting a lot of good cooperation from the National Republican Senatorial Committee. We just had six senators in last week. I won my first race one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm happy to win any race that way. Uh, at one point, I didn't think that President Bush would have even brought the resolution, but after hearing Vice President Cheney and others over the last few weeks indicate that they would have gone forward with the war in Iraq, even knowing what they know now, it raises serious questions about not only judgment, but sanity. Uh, of course, decision. the only person who voted to go was Congressman Ford, who's been there for 10 years, but I think I choose I know I choose to focus on the future. I don't think it does any good for us as a country to focus on what shoulda, woulda, coulda. And until someone comes up with a recipe for picking family, uh, then they should let me run for the Senate. Uh, my opponent has raised this issue, George, and in a lot of ways, it's a, it's a Hail Mary pass right here at the end of this race. Never a personal comment ever made about uh, family. You did so. criticize his father's actions as a lobbyist in the last Well, actually, debate. I was criticizing his actions, uh, sitting on Fannie Mae sitting on the uh, Financial Services Committee with his dad uh, lobbying for Fannie Mae. I'm just, I'm just not going to take morality lessons from a party. The National Republican Committee is running it from a party that took hush money from a child predator. In years so in he's a hypocrite? I, I don't use words like that, but he's certainly running as somebody that he's not. But we, we plan to make sure that middle class people pay less taxes, not more, what about and the they tax, make more money. What about the tax cuts uh, for the upper income brackets? Well, I, I, you know, I'm not interested in raising anybody's taxes. Well, that's what he says, but the guy that writes the tax laws, a guy named Charlie Rangel, the week they got out of town, said across the board tax increases. Nancy Pelosi, who'd be speaker, has a record of being in favor of across the board tax increases. Well, I think that if you look at uh, definitely Christopher Shays in Connecticut, that's going to be an early night, um, one where we'll get a read off of what's happening there. I think in the Senate races, there are lots of issues, but Chafee, Santorum, the war is sticking hard with them. 
why shouldn't you be held responsible and why should you get another chance? Well, some will, and I'll make the decision based on the, what happens over the next few weeks. And when I do, uh, I'll make the argument for why I should get a chance. But look, <laughs> why should Ronald Reagan have won four times for the nomination? And finally, on the fourth, he won the nomination. John McCain, their leading candidate, uh, didn't he get uh, kicked around South Carolina by the same president because he wasn't patriotic enough? John Bolton, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., not Josh Bolton. Josh Bolton oh, is the White, White House chief of staff. They are not related, although their last name is the same. You talk too much. Imagination is the bridge to the future. Boeing, forever new frontiers.